Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to review this old GTX 745 and its gaming performance in 2020. But before that, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe down below and thank you for watching. Now what we have here is a rather odd little graphics card which is an NVIDIA GTX 745 and originally came out in early 2014. Now this card featured 128 bit memory interface, operating frequency of 1033 megahertz, memory running at 900 megahertz. Also it has four gigabytes of DDR3 VRAM and the TDP is only 55 watt. And as far as the connections, we have one DVI, one HDMI, and one VGA. Now this particular version is the Dell version. And this card would have came with a Dell XPX 8700 or Dell XPX 8900. And at that time, they sort of considered this as a starting point of a gaming card. And uh, in my opinion, it's really not the best. But we're going to really test it out and see how well it performs in 2020. Now because of its DDR3 um, memory, uh, I probably doubted that we could game a 1080p on uh, majority of games. But I'm going to try my best. So the only hope is to see how well this thing will run uh, at a lower resolution and if it's still worth it. The only thing uh, that is very disappointing to me is that it seems to be a bit overpriced and I definitely wouldn't recommend somebody going out the way and buying it. As I've seen it on eBay currently for around $90 used and for $90 this you could get a really good gaming card. And even though uh, it may sound really good at 4 gigabytes of VRAM, uh, it's really not what it seems to be. So in this video we are going to finally find, find out uh, what this bad boy could do I'm gonna do some really good testing to try to tweak out some settings maybe even overclock this uh, card if it's even possible and uh, we'll see how well it performs so without further ado let's get into some gaming test benchmarks so stay tuned okay so the first game here we have is Resident Evil 3 remake let me go over the settings so I have the GTX 745 slightly overclocked by 50 megs on the core and 100 megs on the memory and uh, you know just to give it a little boost uh, I don't think I'm gonna go any higher than that uh, but uh, yeah it seems to overclock yeah, at least a little bit and the game is running fine now of course for, to get the best possible results I am using a, a fairly decent system here which consists of an i7 7700K running at 5 gigs, 16 gigs of uh, DDR4 uh, RAM running at 3200 megahertz. So, of course, if you have a pretty weak system, you probably wouldn't get the same results. But I am just trying to push the envelope and really see what we could do here. So um, let me let's take a look at the settings here. So we are running at 1366 7 by 768 on DirectX 11, normal rendering mode, and uh, V-Sync off, anti-aliasing on T, double A. Now these are the settings here, and I was messing around with the settings and I try to put it lower or the lowest, and it seems the FPS kind of just stays just about in the same area. So. If I t put everything on the lowest settings, the game is going to look really bad. So I figured, let me mess around with these settings and at least make it visually uh, good. And still be enjoyable to play. So with these settings here, uh, the game looks really good still. And still fairly the same FPS as if you would set it up on the lowest settings. And overall, I'm pretty happy with the performance here. As you could see, it does say up to four gigs of VRAM available uh, but I'm not gonna fill that up at all we're only at 1.72 and yes I have the latest Nvidia driver which is a uh, June 24th of 2020 so I'm up to date this yes this uh, card still supports the latest Nvidia driver so this is with the latest and yeah that's pretty much it 
So that's kind of settings I'm going to be using uh, for the remainder of the video. So let's give it a shot here and see how well this game runs. Now all I'm trying to do is uh, have this game run smooth and also visually good. And so far it's doing that. And of course the four gigs of VRAM, even though it's you know it's DDR3, it's gonna give you a cushion, you know. Anytime you start hit start hitting the limit on any kind of game, even with the newer cards, uh, you are tend to with the performance tend to drop. So it's about the good thing. We'll see once we get into some other games, see how well they run. Okay, not bad so far. I see with the explosion, yes, I did expect it to drop uh, to high 20s, but that's still good. Again, with some tweaks, this game looks good at this resolution. Uh, you know, if you get this card for like 20 bucks, you know, and you're on a budget, and you have like a, you know, a PC with, with not such a good power supply, I think it's good. But uh, 90 ninety dollars is what I'm seeing right now on on eBay. That's outrageous. You know, it's ridiculous. Um, you know, especially when the GT 1030, you know, pretty much outperforms this this game uh, this card, you know, quite a bit. And at the same price, more or less, I'll definitely go for the GT 1030. All right, so that's Resident Evil. Let's jump into the next game and see how well it does. All right, and here's Battlefield 5. Let's take a look at the settings. Here we have. So we're going to stick with the same resolution, 1366 by 768. And we're going to go with the medium settings. Now again, it's very similar to the previous game. If I put this on the lowest settings versus medium settings, the FPS is like within one or two FPS, so I would rather stay with the medium so the game looks, you know, a lot better and just sacrificing one or two FPS. Uh, I think that's a really, uh, you know, an obvious thing to do here. So between the very lowest settings and medium settings, uh, at this resolution, the FPS is virtually the same. And again, you know, we just want to be able to be play this game to be playable. Not no miracles. I think it still looks good.
Alright, and that's Battlefield 5. On to the next one. Okay, so now I'm really challenging this graphics card. I'm running Control. Now this is a pretty hard game to run. And uh, yeah, I was able to successfully run it uh, on these settings here. Uh, full screen, 1366 by 768 and every other setting completely low. Otherwise, it's just really not playable. Then it drops down to mid-20s, even if you go to just to increase just a couple other settings. So yeah, on full screen, 1366 by 768. Um, I'm able to run this game pretty decently. And that's pretty much the best I could do. But all in all, it runs without, you know, without any issues. Oh, and of course, DirectX 11. Well, there you have control. As you can see, we're really pushing it to limits. Um, but the game runs. Definitely not the best FPS. Who knows, maybe if you could lower down the resolution, you'll get the FPS just a little bit higher. Alright, so then we got one last game to test, and that's it. So I'm wrapping up this video with GTA 5, the only game in this video that was able to run uh, on 1080p with good FPS. Let's go over the settings. Here you have it, DirectX 11, I am on 1920-1080p on normal settings all the way through and getting pretty good. FPS uh, you could still turn some of these options on a little bit higher Maybe even this population density. I'll do this one max these out Yep Now definitely this card is good for GTA 5 and this game is whew, it's still kicking butt all these years what is pushing seven years now all, all around about five years or so on PC so for 
this game, this card is just fine. And you're still gonna get that good, good visuals on 1080p. So what do I think? O overall, this card is useful, but again, if you get it for like 20 bucks, no more than that. But for 90, I don't think so. Especially when uh, like a GT 1030, that's a low profile card, you know, is about the same price and definitely outperforms this card. Well, we're coming to the end of the video here. So, at the end of the video, so, um, let me know what you guys think. Leave any comments down below. And I appreciate you watching this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.